free entries it gives. You can change it to whatever color you want. You want it a solid, you want it a dash, you want to change it. Okay. Uh, let's say it's a hash, right? Apply. Okay. So you can, you can, it's actual software that you import. It provides these signals, but you don't know how it's calculated. Okay. You apply it to TradeStation or NinjaTrader, and it gives you these signals. Okay. MC. All right, MC. So it's this is an actual um, software that you install on Ninja that provides this for you. You do it on on uh, any and every um, software, or I should say, instrument. All right. Uh, there are no parameters, Jay. Actually, there are no parameters at all. There are no parameters to configure, meaning there's no optimization. How many of you guys have seen things like 90% accurate winners? Because it's all optimized. There are no optimization at all. Right? No optimization means it doesn't change between the actual. Um, um, doesn't change, right? You don't, I mean, it's, it is what it is. Now, as an example, how many of you trade the British pound here? Or how many of you trade the euro? Or how many of you trade the Canadian dollar? Euro. You want to see the euro? Okay. Let's take a look at, let's take a look at the, the British pound. Okay. Right. There's no parameters. Okay, so here is the British pound. Okay, British pound went long here, here. This is ATO, long, bounce long, and then short. Stay long if it's above, go short if it's below, right? Now, Looking at the bridge the British pound, do you think that this could have helped you going long there or going short here? As a trader, do you think that this would help you? How about if we take a look at the euro? This is the euro. Going long there, would that have helped you? Do you think you would have caught this move? I think so. Now, if I take this off, right? Let's say I take this off. Would you have known where to go long or short here? Just looking at this chart, let's say that you saw it like this. Do you know where to go? Want to know what to do? There's a difference with the atlas line because the atlas line isn't is not an indicator. The atlas line really works using what price action is doing in, in relation to the Atlas line. So it's different, all right? Well, Jay, if you trade the currencies, you're trading the CME, right? The Chicago Mercantile Exchange, right? And that opens at 8.30 Central, 9.30 Eastern, correct? Jay, that would be the, the time that you would look at it. Now, Jay, do you trade the overnight in the euro, since you want to trade it at nighttime? Because if you do, we can do that as well. Atlas Line can trade the overnight as well. Okay. Let's take a look here. Now. Let's go here, and let me add the Atlas line, right? Actually, let me do this here. Okay. So here is the Atlas line on the euro, right? And Jay wants to trade the, the euro overnight, or he wants to trade the E-mini overnight, but he doesn't want to trade during the day, right? So how do we capitalize on trading 
the overnight, right? No, it prints all the trades, James. It prints all the trades. It prints it all. They give, it gives you all these signals. All you got to do is follow it, okay? So how do we are able to capitalize this? All right, well, let's take a look at the E-mini first, okay? Because many traders trade the E-mini overnight, especially the Australian clients that I have, right? Here we go in the back end of the software. And you see where I have here market open, 930? I live in Florida, Eastern Standard Time, which is New York time. So the E-mini opens for me at 9.30. If I lived in Chicago, it would be 8.30. I would change this to overnight data. So now the Atlas line is calculating overnight, James, or J, I'm sorry. So here we go. Now let's take a look here. This is overnight data on the E-mini using the Atlas line. Do you see any long trades here at all? I only see one order to go short. See, there's just one. Yep, right there. The Atlas line prints this up, and you go short, 1097.75. Obviously, this is overnight data, so it's very slow. But you never had an opportunity to go long, okay? Questions on that? So you can, in itself, trade overnight. You guys want to see the euro? Here's the euro. Overnight. Okay. Again, for me, 1 o'clock in the morning for the euro is where I want it to start. Okay. So we have here, long here. We have bounce shorts where it bounces off. Grab a couple of pips each time it bounces off. Bounce long, the upside. This is a typical euro overnight. Okay? Questions, guys? So really the main purpose of this webinar is to let you know that the at the open method is going to be pulled off. I'm going to only allow the traders that have it to have it. And I'm going to teach it in the mentorship program. Okay. The Alice sign is still available. And those of you who are interested in the mentorship program, call me or email me. I'll, we'll have a, a nice conversation about what you're interested in doing in the future. As far as you want to become a full-time trader and do this for a living, it's not difficult. You just have to really um, understand what it means to trade. Okay? I wouldn't, Jay, trade them all. Uh, Jay, I wouldn't trade them all. Okay? I would go on the euro, especially, Jay. I would trade them. Um, you know, I would go for small pips each time, Jay. And you can turn, actually, let's take a look here at the back end. You see here, trade bounces, trade crosses, trade double closes. You guys can turn these on or off. These are the signals that it provides. And each Atlas line gives, I give a how-to webinar. So let's say that you don't even want a, uh, you don't even want to use any signals. You can have them printed here. J, as you can see. Trade bounces, just the trade bounces orders, right? Or you can have, you don't like the trade bounces, you can go with the trade double closes to true. Turn this to false. And all you have is the trade double closes. So you don't have to, and I don't recommend you trading all the uh, all the signals as well, Jay, just so you know. All right, Jay? I trade as little as possible. All right, as little as possible. Remember, if you heard me say it before, I... You know, you don't have to have them all on because that's silly. I, I rather say to you, trade two or three times a day and call it a day. You don't need more than two or three points, guys, a day. Got it, Jay. You're welcome. All right, if you guys have any, any questions,